The Good News Gangdon Church held a joint worship service in the Seoul area on the 2nd with Pastor Ok Su Park invited. Performance by the Birdsong Children's Choir with violinist Jenghis Osmanov, principal conductor Boris Abelian, the stage of the Gracha Habs Choir, together enrich the worship service. Pastor Ok Su Park through the words of 1 Samuel chapter 31, he said that the most important thing in a life of faith is to rely on and believe in God, and like David, no matter what you think, you must believe in and expect God's promise. On the evening of the 5th, the Good News Jeonju Church also held a combined service in Jeonbuk, with Pastor Oksa Park invited. Cesare Music School is a golden building ensemble, female choir, piano quintet, and birdsong boys and girls choir. On this day, Pastor Oksu Park preached the words of 2 Kings 4 and delivered the word of hope that God will work for the saints if they unite their hearts with God. Grotch's Choir Special Concert with World Masters 2023 Svavadna announced its start at Inchon Grotch's Art Center. This Svavadna was accompanied by the pre-ceremony performance of the Birdsong Children's Choir, pianist Pavel Rakaris, cellist Alexander Ram, and violinist Jenghis Osmanov as well as the chief conductor of the Gracha Habs Choir. Boris Abelian a fantastic stage was unfolded under this command. In addition, the solo and full chorus performances of Gracha's Choir soprano Lisu Hyun and baritone Shinji Hayak received cheers and applause from the 1300C audience. Pastor Ok Su Park, the founder of the Gracha's Choir, delivered a special message to the audience. The 2023 Svabodna performance will continue in Pyeongchang, Gwangju, Daegu, Gyeonggi-do, Goyang, and Daejeon, starting with Incheon. The Good News Dong Seoul Church held regional Bible seminars on the 6th and 7th. For this seminar, the members invited their families, acquaintances, and reading group members, and the three elders who served as lecturers testified of God who worked in their lives and preached the gospel. After the sermon, we shared our hearts and made announcements through group meetings. Dongsol Church said that this Bible seminar was a more blessed time by preaching the gospel to the local residents. The Good News Bukian Church Multicultural Team held an event for multicultural families on July 1st. Booth experience by country, mind education, food experience, etc., were held and received great response from the attendees. Senior Pastor Jong Su Yoon delivered a message, and the attendees spent time empathizing with each other while meeting on topics of interest, such as children's education. Bukian Church, he said he would hold frequent events to interact with multicultural families. On the 3rd, the Seed Sowers Group, which is composed of Rwandan church office workers and entrepreneurs, held the first Christian Entrepreneurs Meeting at the Kigali Convention Center. With about 70 businessmen in attendance, the butler of the land testified how to connect the mind and faith to business, and missionary Bong Jin Ko gave a mind lecture on the subject of a change in perspective. A member of the National Assembly who attended the forum said that he was greatly impressed by the lecture and agreed that more people should be informed of the forum. The Eswatini IWF branch conducted mind education for high-ranking public officials of the Ministry of Public Service and professors at the Civil Service Education College. The Vice Minister of the Ministry of Public Service, who felt the need for mind education after visiting Korea, is conducting mind education every Monday at a meeting of high-ranking executives. Branch Manager Kang Tae-wook gave a lecture on collaborative leadership, and Vice Minister Sipo Shepesh of the Ministry of Public Service expressed his thoughts that continued education is needed, saying that mind education is seeing results as it progresses. On the 4th, the OEF branch in Uganda held a mind education curriculum orientation for professors and instructors of the Department of Psychology at Makarar National University. This orientation was held while the open discussion on the mind education curriculum was completed in April and the current university board approval review was pending. AWF, the Uganda branch said that it expects mind education to be registered as a formal liberal arts course in schools and lead to changes in many young people. 
On the 2N, the Paraguayui F branch held the second workshop of the Good News Corps overseas volunteers. The state scholarship coordinator, who attended the first workshop last year, invited 500 scholarship students to this workshop as well, and delivered a congratulatory message thanking Ui F for preparing a beneficial program for the students. The event consisted of a cultural performance, an introduction to Good News Corps, experience stories by senior members, and performances by teachers of the Birdsong Music School.